Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another list of five amazing and super cool knives that you can actually get your hands on if you want. I'll be linking everything right down below so that you guys can check it out. It does help my channel when you use my links, but that's entirely up to you. Uh, these are in no particular order. There are no particular category, right? The only criteria here is, are they cool, according to me? And the answer for all five of these is yes. So I'm going to be sharing those with you guys today. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Starting off here with kind of a weird one. This is the Serge Penchenko uh, Production Slip Joint Razor Version 2. Um, I understand, you know, <laughs> right off the bat, people are going to be like, what on earth is the purpose of that? Um, I don't know what it is, but I have been fascinated with these sort of like premium uh, utility box cutter things that have um, periodically popped up in the knife community. Um, obviously, you can buy a super duper boring $5 utility razor, right? And it'll get the job done. It'll do exactly what you need it to do. But that's boring, right? Uh, we want uh, we want cool stuff like titanium and because titanium, right? Um, but uh, yeah, it, this works really, really well. It obviously takes many different types of, you know, uh, disposable uh, or interchangeable razor blades, including um, those crazy ceramic blades. Uh, if you want to, um, but uh, I think the part that people are going to enjoy the most is the walk and talk on this thing is phenomenal. If you're really big into slip joints, then you know how important that is. The snap into this sort of um, the, the mid stop or the half stop position is completely solid. And then out into the open position is once again, very, very solid. Um, I, uh, I really like that there's a space right here so that when you close this with one hand, worst case scenario, you just get a little bump on your finger by this unsharpened area right here and not the blade, which is not the case with all slip joints. Sometimes this 90 degree angle can, can get you a slice on your, on your index finger. Um, but uh, I really like this. It just works super well. Very friendly. Um, it's not the easiest thing to open with one hand, so it's going to be more of a two-handed opener. But if you like to just have the utility and convenience of a simple, you know, box cutter or you know, utility razor, but you want that sort of uh, enthusiast spice in your day-to-day -day life, then this might be right up your alley. I absolutely had to include it. Moving on here, more of a just a standard, you know, modern folding knife. This is the new Kaiser Mad Tanto button lock, which is a damned designs um, design. I really, really like this. This is kind of, um, so number one, this is an $81 knife made by uh, Kaiser that is very similar to the overall profile of the Hinder XM18, which is something I very much love. It's not exactly the same. It's not a copy, right? But I do like the overall profile. And I think, you know, what I like the most outside of the price is the fact that it is a button lock and it's properly done too. This works really, really well. We have contoured micarta, we have nested steel liners, full steel liners, and then we have a compound ground 154 cm Tanto blade. Uh, I think value here is off the charts. It's just really, really good. The blade profile is nice and thin. In fact, I almost sliced myself there. I love the polish on the blade. Kaiser does such an amazing uh, high polish tumbled finish. Really nice. I think these actually come in a few different finishes right now. Um, the pocket clip is great. Like I said, ergonomics are great. Just a really, really good knife. And I think it's kind of flying under the radar right now. Uh, if you can get your hands on this, I would highly recommend it. Moving on here to something a bit more premium. This is absolutely available and in a few different configurations. This is the Tim Bernard and Tools for Gents Rascal made by Riot. These just arrived the other day and you guys haven't even seen me unbox them yet. In fact, there's a few things on this list you haven't seen me unbox yet. What I like about this, you can get this in titanium or micarta and I'll make sure and link Tools for Gents right down below so you guys can check it out. But what's cool about this is that it is a titanium liner lock, which is nice because it means you can grip it without, you know, forcing that lock further and further and further in underneath the tank. Um, but uh, the pivot is hidden. Now, this, uh, you know, if you need to adjust the knife, then you, you have to take off the scale and then adjust the pivot from underneath. But it makes for a very, very clean aesthetic. 
My goodness, are the ergonomics just wonderful. There's a lot of titanium here, very contoured. If I didn't say, these are made by Riot, so you get all of that super premium quality. And, you know, I thought there's no way that that front flipper is going to work super well, because look at that. There's just like a, one little nub sticking up. There's no way. Actually, this front flipper, for whatever reason, actuates or fires harder than the vast majority of the front flippers that I have ever handled. I think it's a combination of a lot of things, right? I mean, proper uh, design work, proper tuning by or, or manufacturing by Riot. Um, but uh, also just, you know, the amount of handle that you're hanging on to, the amount of leverage I'm able to get on the blade, and then the amount of force I'm able to apply to it, it's very, very satisfying. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with front flippers or are just not super convinced by them, this is one that works so well and feels so natural. I love that blade. I hope they decide to do a drop point blade, but this Tanto blade is fantastic. These are M390 running on bearings. Pocket clip is great. You have a milled pocket clip, full backspacer, etc. All the bells and whistles. The uh, micarta versions of these come in at about 270, maybe 280, because you have to convert because it's in euros. Um, and then the titanium versions come in at about 360 or so, which I think is relatively fair, especially considering it has to ship from overseas. Um, but yeah, I really like the Rascal, both the titanium version and uh, the micarta version. I think there's even a carbon fiber version as well. So make sure that you guys check these out. Moving on here to one that is substantially more affordable, and that is the Vostede Bellamy or Bellamy. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. There's not a whole lot to this knife. It's just a good design. A little bit different here. I like the texturing on the micarta. I don't know why. It just kind of makes me think. I know it's not really alligator scale texturing, but I think it's the color, right? Um, but the texturing is a little, they're like ridges, right? It just makes me think of alligator skin and it works really, really well. In fact, ergonomically, this thing is fantastic. Um, we have a nice elongated clip point blade. Blade steel is 154 cm. We have a nested liner lock running on bearings. And it is also, I mean, you could maybe, not really. You're going to be, I was going to try and top flip it, but it is a front flipper with a flipper tab. Or you can actually use the fuller to deploy it, making it a very fidgety knife. This is definitely a knife that you will not be dropping the gripness <laughs> that you get from the texturing here is uh, it's not so aggressive that it, it feels like irritating to your hands, but man, when you hang on to this thing, there is absolutely, even with this being wet, I know my car gets a bit slimy when it's wet, even wet, you're not gonna drop this thing. Uh, love the materials, love the pocket clip. The pocket clip is essentially perfect. We have mounting positions for left and right hand and carry. Action is great. Overall manufacturing quality is great. And this guy comes in, I wish it was a budget knife by my standards, which is 75 or less, but it comes in a hair more at about 80 bucks. I still think that's reasonable. Um, I just like the overall profile. I like that it's a little bigger than some of the stuff we've seen here lately from the budget knife world or this territory of the knife world, right? And they've just done little things correctly, like giving us access to that fuller so we can actually reverse flick it, right? Really good stuff. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, enjoying Vosteed more and more uh, the more that I, uh, you know, experience their knives. And last but certainly not least, probably the reason that you all clicked on this video the Max Ace Vortex. Holy freaking crap, man. This is an absolute <laughs> monster. This is a monster of a pocket knife. Sorry, excuse me, my hands are really dirty. Um, yeah, this is titanium and titanium and titanium and carbon fiber and M390 for some reason. Boy, look at that action. That's totally unnecessary. You can reverse flick it. Or you can use these thumb logs to deploy the blade, right? Um, this is insane. I, uh, I really think that Max Ace is just trolling everybody at this point, right? Everybody who's ever said that knife is too big or why do they have so many screws holding the frame together? I think Max Ace heard this and thought, you know what? Let's just go completely against the grain and just do something absolutely ridiculous. 
Some people have the uh, overwhelming urge to scream that there's no way that this knife could be utilitarian or that it just creates a hindrance. I think that Max Ace is specifically targeting these people. I think they are dunking repeatedly on these people by creating these things. And I think it's absolutely hilarious. Um, the cherry on top is that this is not an inexpensive knife. This is a ridiculously expensive knife. Uh, they cost about $520. Now, they are made in China, and it really is M390. It really is carbon fiber. It really is titanium. And I try to, you know, I drive the point home that j materials alone do not equal, you know, a high price or a high value, right? There's execution, right? All of these other elements, you have to consider country of origin. Even considering that these are made in China, the amount of work and machining that went into this and the action, I mean, you know, it's like I would say, it's not just the materials, but the amount of titanium and M390 in this knife is ridiculous, right? So whether or not it equates, right, even if you want to force that whole idea through, it's not utilitarian. Nah. If you want to force that through, fine. It's still factually a lot of material and it costs a lot of money to create. The blade stock thickness on this knife is thicker than the thickest Medford, right? I mean, the, the, the thickest production or regularly available Medford. Um, the Praetorian tie comes in at a quarter inch. This guy is thicker. It's huge. It's ridiculous. There are probably three XL sized M390 blades within the blade of this knife. This is a folding machete and it will work, right? It actually has, for anybody worried about, you know, the durability of the lock or the pivot, it actually does have a place for a pin lock, which it comes with. This knife comes with like so much additional hardware. Every piece of this knife, right? It comes with an extra, like like all the screws and, and, and standoffs and, uh, or I'm sorry, the backspacer and the, the thumb studs, all that stuff. It comes with an extra piece of it. Um, and it also comes with a very robust pin lock, which uh, will double lock the knife into position. So not just crazy for the sake of being crazy, but actually durable if you so chose to use it. I can't say that it's the thinnest thing behind the edge, but the edge is, you know, ground well enough to actually slice if you want to, which may come as a surprise for some people. Uh, this knife is ridiculous. It is insane, and it is absolutely not convenient. But it is cool, which, again, is really the only criteria uh, for this list. So once again, we have the Max Ace Vortex. You can also, by the way, if you want to pick this up in Mocha Thai or Zerka, uh, not Zerka Thai, but Thaimascus, you can pay an additional $300, making this an over $800 knife if you want those materials. Um, then we have the Vostid Bellamy, or Bellamy, which looks hilarious. In fact, all of the knives will look hilarious up against the Max Ace Vortex. We have the TFG and uh, Tim Bernard Rascal. Uh, we have the Kaiser uh, and Damdesides Mad Tanto. And then we have the Serge Penchenko uh, Slip Joint Razor Gen 2. Once again, I'll be linking all of these knives right down below so you guys can check them out if you want to. That's going to be pretty much it for five cool knives. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.